What's up, guys? Floodmon14 here. And we're back with another episode of Nightmare Troubadour. Recording this one right after we just uh, defeated Mako, so... Ah, there's Bakura there. Yeah, see... I'm kind of glad that we registered uh, him and uh, Serenity and Taya, you know, during all the grinding. Because uh, we already have his recipe and everything, so I don't really need to fight him. Instead, let's try to find some of these new guys here. One stone. Okay. Uh, I wonder if we can find Joey this time of night. Hmm. I haven't dueled Joey in a while. Who, hey, who's this? Who is this? Huh? You are the next challenger? What a joke! I see your cards, Wheeler! You can't activate two skull dice in one turn! Alright, let's do it, Roba. Now, Esperoba, I don't really ever find him too difficult. Ooh, we got a powerful combo, though. Should we do it? Let's do it, guys. First turn, Night Assailant, Crush Card Virus. Ooh, let's do it. Let's do it. Illusory gentleman is good, Esperoba. But how will you feel when all the powerful monsters in your field, hand and death, are destroyed? Go, crush card virus. Infect his dick. <laughs> Destroy his Jinzo now. Alright. Ooh, and we got reflect boundary. Good, good. So now he's got no monsters. I love it. I love it. Alright. Nice field of cards you have there, Robin. But, uh, I of all people know that those back row can't do anything, so I'll just summon X Head Cannon. Alright. Go, X Head Cannon. I seem to draw this card pretty consistently, too. Go, X Head Cannon. Mighty Double Cannon Barrel Blast. How are you guys doing today? Uh, today is June 10th, uh, 2022. Ah, and he drew a card that'll let him live. Pass Crush Card Virus. Good for you. Um, yeah. So, I got kind of a funny story. Um, so the other day, right, um, uh, I went to drive my car. I'm going to play White Magical Hat here. I went to drive my car. Um, I haven't really drove it in a while. So I was just going to head down to like Walmart and get up, you know, pick up a few groceries. Just, just a couple things. Um, but it was so weird. Like my car started acting up like it was really weird. Like even pulling out of the driveway, like the steering wheel was locked up. It was just like, uh, it wasn't responding, and like, um, when I got about like halfway to the highway that leads to Walmart, um, like, like the, the engine started kind of sputtering, like, like, I mean, obviously I had gas in it, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to go, but like, um, like it started just kind of just like, like, I would accelerate, then it would kind of freeze, and then I would accelerate, and then when I was at the intersection, right, like, this really scared me. When I was at the intersection, I put on my blinker to turn, and then, like, uh, the, uh, the lights started flickering on and off, like, and, uh, basically, it seemed like the battery or something was really, 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 really low. Um, and so... I basically, I, I was still close, luckily for me, I was still pretty close to my house at this point, so what I decided to do, I was just like, you know what, let me, let me turn around, let me go back home, and so I basically started to kind of make the block, and um, uh, on, on my way, you know, back home, uh, 
like as I was as I was making one of the final turns, my car actually like would not accelerate. It would not go like at all, and I was I was almost like freaking out. And it was like hot, man. It's summer. I was like, oh man, this can't be. And so I started to uh, run up to the neighbor, you know, to ask him for his uh, for his jumper cables, you know, to give me a jump. I was just like, no, no, no. Let's just. Let's just, let's just wait. I, I just told myself, you know what? Let's just wait it out. Let's just wait for like, you know, maybe like 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes. Let's see, you know, let's see if like, you know, cause I, you know, let's see if I can at least get it back started and then, you know, then I'll just, you know, give up on it. So, so I sat there, you know, kind of in the heat. I was just like, man, I'm actually so close, I can push it to my house if I just really wanted to. I was thinking of all these different scenarios, but um, uh, it turned out everything was okay. So, like, after about 10 minutes, like I said, um, and I was, of course, like, freaking out, you know. Um, after about 10 minutes, I was just like, okay, let's try it now. Let's try to start the car. So I started it back up, and... Uh, Let's take giant germ here. So I started it back up, or I tried to start it back up, and it was making this, this weird clicking noise. It was like, eh, click, 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 click. I was like, oh man, this is this ain't good. This ain't good. So I was just like, you know what? Let's just give it just five more minutes. Five more minutes. I was like, because it should be able to start, because I had just started it. So I was like, you know what? Let's give it five more minutes. Five more minutes. So I waited like five more minutes, and and then uh, it started up just fine. It started up just fine, and the wheel wasn't locked up like it was before. It was just the weirdest thing. Um, and I, uh, then I was like, oh, well, maybe I thought to myself, well, maybe I should go go back home and just, you know, turn off the car. Just, you know, that way I won't have to worry about it getting towed. But uh, on my way back home, I, I noticed like... Uh, I noticed that you know it was accelerating better too and so I was just like no you know what um, while I it seemed like it was you know performing a lot better so I, I, I just told myself I was like you know what while I've got it performing good let's just go ahead and uh, maybe it is just the battery that's slow so I was like you know what let's just go ahead and like run it up the highway run it up you know about like uh, about 20 miles out and let's run it 20 miles back that way I can recharge the battery and I know it was kind of risky I mean normally you would think like well dude your car was just sputtering out maybe you should you know park it at home and leave it uh no no I actually made the right decision so it went up to the high up to the highway just fine you know and what's nice is on the highway you can get up to uh you know 70 here so Basically, and the faster you go in your car, you know, the the better you can charge your battery. So, yeah, basically everything turned out fine, and um, that's good. That's really good. Uh, I guess I will just attack with these two. Yeah, but yeah, I was pretty worried there for a second, for sure. Definitely, definitely a weird, a weird outing. But I, I didn't finish going to Walmart though. Like my main thought was just like charge the battery and then come back home. So, so, but yeah, so after I record a, a couple episodes this morning, as you can see, it's uh, 7.43. Yeah, after I record a couple episodes, uh, I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna, you know, try to start my car again today, obviously. You know, make sure everything's still working fine. And uh, if it is, then I will head to Walmart later today. So, yeah. All right, another 1,000. Man, our life points are all the way up to 14,000. Jeez. From his own eye of truth. Thank you. Uh, let's see. What can we do here? Uh, wait, does he have mind control? I thought he had mind control. Oh, he took it back with Magician of Faith. Okay. Because I was thinking, I was thinking we could use mind control and... You know what? Let me flip our Magician of Faith. So I was thinking we could use mind control and close this game out, but that's okay. I've 
get another way we can close this out, or just about close it out. Let's see. All right, Sam Gant attack. Ah, hero shadow scout, eh? Clever. Try to make me discard some spells so I won't gain life points. Set. Eh? The problem for you is I already have spells. Ah, we only had to discard swords. Giant germ, direct attack. Alright, and this will be the end of the duel, because luckily I do have... Yeah, Metal Morph right here, face down. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that was... That was definitely... Definitely a weird outing for me there. <laughs> With my car yesterday. Uh, it was crazy. But... But yeah, so I'll try it later today, and I guess I'll update you guys in some future episodes about, you know, how, how it went, you know, <laughs> or if my car just, just completely, you know, bit the bucket, bit the dust. I lost! This wouldn't be good for my reputation! And no, no it will not. Oh no! If he attacks my Jinzo, it's all over for me! If Jinzo attacks my Reflect Bounder... Yes, 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 yes. Alright, who else can we find today? Eh, we're at about 12 minutes. I think we've got enough time for one more duel. Let's see, there's Grandpa. Ah, good, good. We've already registered Grandpa. Let's see. Makura, okay. Don't need to fight you. Although, both of those two do give off pretty good experience. But I want to try to register the people that, uh, obviously, we haven't registered yet. Uh, well, looks like it's just these two out right now. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll go to the home icon, then. Yeah, we'll go to the home icon. Save here. And I'll head back out and see if we can find anyone different. Yeah. Alright, let's head back out. Let's see. Okay, there's someone over here. Okay, Grandpa, right there. Let's see, and I'm sure Bakura is probably still out here. Who's this? Uh, yeah, Bakura. Okay, anyone else out here? Let me, let me check real quick. Looks like it's just these two. Um, I forget who gives the most experience, but let's just duel Grandpa. Uh, especially since we had quite a long marathon of building the crew. So, Kaiba gave you upgrades for your duel disc. That's not fair. Why don't I get upgrades? Everyone forgets about me. <laughs> well, I'll show you. I can steal a jewel. Alright, Grandpa, let's do it. Yeah, I don't know. Why didn't you get upgrades? Maybe because Yugi hates... I mean, Kaiba hates Yugi. And then he was just like, I'm not, I'm not giving you any upgrades, old man. Deal with it. Alright. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, let's do it. Oh, and, and I've been forgetting, I think, the whole episode. I probably should have done this earlier. Uh, yeah, max view, Josh. Max view. Yeah, I've, I've been forgetting about that, like, the whole episode, but, oh well. Uh, I think my car story was interesting, so I don't really mind. Yeah, I don't know if you guys could hear that, but that was a little rumble. We got some thunder. Oh, that's smart. Skull Serving in attack mode? Uh, aren't you bright? Alright. Pretty good hand here. Pretty good hand. All monster cards. Alright, so let's see if Grandpa has one of his annoying traps, like Ordeal the Traveler right now. No, good, good, no traps. Alright, down goes your Skull Serpent. And he didn't get a uh, Call of the Mummy first turn either. So, so far, so good. Alright, you want some, Grandpa? Grandpa, you Grandpa! Oh no, I can't summon next turn, that's not good. But, it 
doesn't matter because you don't have anything in my way. So, we can't summon or set due to non aggression area. So, we'll just attack with Giant Germ. Yep, kind of hard to uh, get a quick finish bonus on Grand Paul sometimes because he both boosts his life points and he has non aggression area to stop your attacks. So, I mean, to stop your summons. So, yeah. But we can summon this turn. And I think I'll go with Spirit Reaper. I realize I can get more damage, but I kind of want to discard whatever's in his hand. Just in case it's an Exodia piece. Uh, no, no, we're good. Yeah. This giant germ is getting in for a lot of damage. It's like, what, 3,000 damage so far? Or no, 2,700? Because we killed, uh, Skull Sermon. Alright, let's see what's in his hand. What do we get? Ah, we did get an Exodia piece. Good, good. That was the right call. Alright, main phase two. I think I can set, yeah, Shrink. There we go. I'll set my Shrink card in my tomb. Ah, now he's got a decent monster. Born in. Yeah, it's probably going to attack my Spirit Reaper. That's fine. Go ahead. I'll take the Thousand. Alright. Okay. Got another Spirit Reaper. I think we'll go with the Mighty Force Raider. Alright. And now that he has no hand, I'll switch Spirit Reaper and I'm actually going to do something a little weird, guys, but hear me out. Giant Germ, attack his horn in. That's right, I want my Giant Germ to be destroyed. Because now, I can search two more, Grandpa. Yeah. Surprised we didn't draw into a second one after all that time. But, hey... Got some pretty good luck in this game. Pretty good luck. All right, Force Raider, go cut his monster down to size. Beautiful. And we'll attack with our two germs, and that'll be the end of the turn. All right, that'll leave him with 3,100. Uh, what time are we at? 17 and a half minutes. sure we've won here, but we have giant true name, so let's make sure we've won. Go! But he came! Yeah, return everything to the hand. Alright, I think we can get exactly zero. Let's see. If I shrink X-Head Cannon, that'll put him at 800. Yeah, so with the Spirit Reaper, that'll be 1100, and the germs will be exactly zero. Let's do it. Now I activate my Shriek card on my x -Hand. There we go. Oh no, that'll put him at 900. Oh, I miscalculated. Uh, can we still get exactly zero, though? with Spirit Reaper first. Maybe we can. Oh, yeah, I was thinking x head Cannon. I was calculating for 1600. That's my bad, guys. That's my bad. Uh, let me think here. Oh, we can! We can still get exactly zero. All I have to do is attack with Force Raider. Yes, yes, it's working, it's working. And then x head Cannon! There we go! Hey, we... <laughs> Despite my miscalculation, we still did the right thing. That's awesome. Now we get the exact zero bonus. <laughs> awesome. 
didn't, didn't plan for that. Didn't plan for that, but it all worked out in the end. Ah, and we get 74 for Grandpa. Yeah, I think Grandpa's duelist bonus is slightly higher. Do you happen to have Nutrient G? If you do, can I have it? I'm not greedy. I didn't want it for free. I'll give you poison of the old man. How's that? Ah, uh, sure. We'll trade. We'll trade. Oh, thank you. All right. You're welcome, Grandpa. All right, guys. Well, with that, um, yeah, we're at 20 minutes. Uh, I'm going to click on the home icon, make sure we don't get into a shadow game. There we go. going to save here. All right. Well, guys, with that, that will do it for this episode. Um, but now that we've uh, gone through the regular daytime duelists in uh, evening, uh, now it's nighttime. So in the next episode, we should be able to, well, we'll have a chance to trigger um, one of the next events involving us uh, looking for our stolen prize and uh, searching for the, still searching for the uh, thief. So yeah, now that it's nighttime, uh, more shadow games will probably be on the horizon. And will we be able to recover our stolen prize? Well, tune in next time, guys, to find out. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day. This is Floodmon. Ooh, 14. I'm signing out.